click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have got to know about what are the different chemical reactivities of the alkali metals with the different chemicals like that of hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen as well as water molecules. So depending on that we are going to talk about uh, that is we could easily prepare uh, different and most of the essential industrial uh, 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 compounds of sodium and that is how what we are going to talk about. Then uh, let us talk about the important compounds of sodium in this lecture. So basically we are going to talk about in this lecture we are going to talk about uh, the uh, main uh, uh, compounds of the sodium as well as how can we prepare it and what are the uses of uh, those compounds. So now let us understand that uh, related to which uh, compounds we are going to talk about in this whole lecture. So talking about the first compound that is that is sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is also known as basically it is known as washing soda. So even for which uh, we could give the uh, molecular formula also that is Na2Cu3 so talking about the next one that is sodium bicarbonate which is also known as yes it is known as baking soda and that could be represented as that is NaHCO3 Third one the third one is sodium hydroxide and we call it as that is caustic soda and uh, the molecular formula could be written as NaOH and ultimately we are going to talk about sodium chloride which is nothing but known as common sort and which has a molecular formula of NAC. So this all are basically the important compounds of sodium that we are going to talk about and let us understand the preparation of each of the term and there could be different methods to prepare that certain compound and let us understand the first one that is how can we prepare that is sodium carbonate. So now let us talk about that how can we prepare sodium carbonate. So the preparation of sodium carbonate can be done by Solvay process and what is that? Let me explain that also. So talking about Solvay process, it is nothing but uh, we have to take certain kind of uh, that is compounds like ammonia, water, carbon dioxide and basically uh, calcium hydroxide. So based on this basically we could easily prepare that is sodium carbonate. So that is the reason that we are going to talk about uh, the preparation of uh, Na2CO3 in multiple steps and those includes the following one and uh, let us talk about the first one that we are going to explain about how basically the Na2CO3 is been prepared. So the first step includes that is uh, it includes uh, uh, the reaction of ammonia along with that of the H2 and carbon dioxide so as to form that is ammonium hydrogen carbonate. So this uh, is been prepared when basically an ammonia as well as the carbon dioxide they are basically they are bubbled in a, a brine solution basically uh, a solution which consists of NaCl and uh, that how basically we could get uh, basically ammonium hydrogen carbonate. So now this ammonium uh, hydrogen carbonate is not uh, the product that we need because uh, now basically we have uh, as I said that uh, it has been passed through a brine solution, brine solution is nothing but a dilute solution of uh, that is uh, NaCl or common salt. So here how basically we could see that is uh, uh, the NH4HCO3 that has been reacted with that is sodium chloride so as to form a precipitate of uh, sodium bicarbonate and that is basically NaHCO3. 
So meanwhile, we could say that uh, the other product that is what we could get is basically this uh, NH4 along with that of uh, this CN. They are removed as a byproduct. But this NHCO3 is basically a precipitate that we could get and that's the reason that uh, it settles down and uh, from which we could easily prepare that is the further part uh, that is we have to ultimately prepare that is uh, Na2CO3 that is sodium carbonate. So this is the second step that uh, it includes and talking about the third one that is and the third step is basically the uh, uh, sodium uh, hydrogen carbonate or we could also call it as sodium bicarbonate that is being precipitated so that is undergoing uh, that is thermal decomposition so as to form that is uh, uh, that is Na2CO3 that is sodium carbonate along with that of the carbon dioxide NH2 but this doesn't uh, gives us uh, the whole information because uh, this is not the only product that we could get uh, we can get other product also and that also the other product is very important for example we have got in the second step we have got that is NH4Cl so now that NH4Cl uh, that is what we will get and now that could be recovered because we can recover the ammonia back so what happens is whenever the NH4Cl that is ammonium chloride it has been treated with so whenever the ammonium chloride is been treated with that is CaOH twice or we could call it as calcium hydroxide and uh, so the product that we could get over here is basically CaCl2 so for which we have to basically we have to do the balance reaction over here and this is what we will get over here along with that of the important product also even that is CaCl2 along with that of the ammonia that is what we could produce from this along with that of that is uh, H2O so this uh, is the uh, preparation of that is uh, our main product that is Na2CO3 so this is how we can prepare it from solving process so the reason behind that is uh, uh, we have to recover the ammonia because uh, the more amount of because ammonia is the main component from which we could uh, obtain uh, that is uh, Na2CO3 in a very pure form and this is how it has been uh, uh, acting as a raw material also so therefore uh, this is how we have prepared that is uh, sodium carbonate but the reason uh, we cannot prepare that is uh, potassium carbonate the reason behind that is if you observe the step number two so in, the, in this case basically sodium uh, bicarbonate is the one which is uh, which settles down in the form of precipitate precipitate but uh, when it comes to that is uh, uh, potassium uh, bicarbonate then that potassium carbonate bicarbonate is basically very much soluble water and that's the reason we cannot separate it out or we cannot filter it out and that's the reason that uh, from which even though it undergoes uh, that is uh, thermal decomposition we can't obtain uh, from this solvent process so therefore this was certain uh, a kind of reaction where we have prepared uh, that is Na2CO3 so that's it